Welcome to Plants, Projects and More. I'm AJ Gonzalez and today we're going to be uh, setting up our tower garden. Um, additionally, with that, uh, we got a simple hack that we got for today. We purchased this uh, dolly for a 55 gallon drum uh, trash can and it has these uh, this little raised thing is purposely made for those 55 gallon drums. However, I'm gonna cut this off this portion off so I'm just left with the big flat round uh, with casters that way the tower garden can sit on top and we'll be able to move it around where we need to um, because we want to get that morning sun and uh, that evening sun and no other location is feasible for that so with that again I'm gonna go ahead and cut this big box store you can pick these up it kind of sucks that I am going to have to cut this but uh, in the end, it's uh, for the benefit of the tower garden, which will uh, supply us with plenty of vegetables for the family. Setting up the tower garden is quite easy. Um, the key is to know what you're planting and where you're putting it in. So what, I don't know if you can see, but here it's uh, annotated with numbers, right? A key, a legend of how from last year's uh, growing season. So we're, I'm not going to use the same numbers. We have different plants this, uh, for this season. I'll be able to put them in, put some uh, hydroponic uh, minerals and stuff like that, which will help the plant. We're not going to fill up every single tray. Um, some of them are going to be staggered. I'm going to cap a couple of them off, uh, mostly because the tomatoes, a lot of the vine stuff, cantaloupe, tomatoes, uh, peas, stuff like that, um, they're, they're going to really want to spread out. So they're going to need a little bit of room and then we'll, as they really start growing, I'll be able to add support and uh, let them branch off so we can really uh, maximize yield uh, from this. Uh, we also have a lot of greens, broccoli, cauliflower, and uh, uh, spinach. We love spinach. Some uh, peppers, uh, jalapenos, bell peppers, all that is very, uh, it grows really, really well. It's gonna allow us to continue growing during the season while we build our raised garden bed. And uh, if you haven't seen part one of our raised garden bed build, uh, I'll leave a uh, little link up here in the top right, uh, left hand corner or right hand corner um, of the screen. And you can go and, and check that out. Um, again, that raised garden bed is gonna be a lot bigger. It's gonna be able to produce even more and we'll be able to grow a lot more different varieties of vegetables and really do a, a solid crop rotation. Now, because that's not set up, Quite yet we'll be using the tower garden as I mentioned and it has produced really good results for us um, we're very satisfied with it but it does need a little bit of room we have two tower gardens we're only going to be utilizing one for this season um, since we are anticipating that we're going to be finishing up our raised garden bed um, within a month or two and by then we'll be able to plant closer into late spring uh, crops Okay, so um, got this taken care of and I cut it right at the little lip on it and I left these little ridges and the reason for it is underneath there, there's a perfect kind of like circle um, uh, support uh, ring for the actual tray that it's supposed to be made for this, but um, this fits perfectly in it. So that's why I left these little ridges and a little lip right there. So when I set this on top, it won't be sliding around and this will be nice and sturdy and it'll support the entire weight. So, like I said, those little, those little uh, edges that I left sit perfectly right inside, and now it just kind of locks the entire thing and sits perfectly level. So now I can, once I fill this up with water, I can move it around, do whatever I need to.
Okay, so finished filling it up. Water from our pond. We did a couple of trips on that. Um, but the best kind of water, right? You don't want to put any city water because it's uh, full of chlorine and boramine and whatever other chemicals that they put in the water in the city. Um, but uh, like I said, luckily we have a pond and we use the water from the pond in order to just kind of start it. Um, right now there's no plants in there as you can see but I do have it running and the reason for that is I want to ensure that it's nice and level and that everything, all the water is coming up from the top and as it trickles down it's hitting every single tray of where the plants are going to be. And that is key because or else not, not all the plants are going to get the nutrients uh, that they really need and it's going to stunt their growth and we won't get a, pr a proper yield. Yeah. My kids are <laughs> skateboarding and playing with the cats and everything. Uh. Both of you stop. <laughs> just stop what you're doing. Give me three minutes of just silence and just stand there quietly, okay? <laughs> Wanted to take a second to say thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you're getting any value of this, go ahead and hit the subscribe hit that like, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is uploaded. Again, I could not be doing this without your support, so thank you very much. And please don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps me out. It helps with the YouTube alg algorithms. I always get all my saplings from True Garden. I've been getting them for years. It's, uh, they're really quick on the orders. Uh, never had an issue with them. Um, I am not sponsored by uh, Power Garden or True Garden whatsoever. I just really love their products. I'm gonna label each one of these, I'm gonna number them, and then on the key of what I have, I'm gonna put that number on which uh, slot I put that in there. That way I can then go into an Excel spreadsheet, list them all off, know exactly which uh, slot they're in. That way I know um, when I can expect to really do the first harvest or if I need to come and clean them up a little bit or it's, you know, if they're not producing in time, and see if they need more minerals, test the water, see if, uh, if they are missing or lacking anything. So um, it's a really good way of tracking what you're planting and also the yield, which is uh, key, especially for us, right? I strongly recommend if you are limited on space, if you don't have a lot of land, um, if you just have a balcony, um, Tower Garden is the way to go. Uh, it, I mean, you, you can feed an entire armada with uh, just one it, it really produces a lot of food you just got to keep up keep up with the minerals and the supplements and all that stuff but it really is uh, worth it I am going to go ahead and, well, I already did. I already marked these down. So if I do need to move this, I can come back and place it in the exact same spot that I know it's gonna be uh, perfect. And all the plants will be able to get the nutrients that they need. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.